and for each given organ in all animal of the particular species for example the number of body in the somatic cells in the adult nematode species or the number of cells in the pharynx of every worm in the species is precisely 80 you cannot see the 81 or 79 even size and shape Most scalmentates are microscopic. Some grow to over a meter length, and they have bilateral symmetry. So they have left-right portion. Their body is unsegmented. There are no segment. Just like the nematode, the triploblastic having ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm, three layers, and cylindrical in cross section having the cylindrical body. Here you can see the scalmentis having cylindrical body, having the three membranes, body covering, muscular layer, digestive layer, pseudocelomid layer. Or you can see the yellow is ectoderm, pink is mesoderm, blue is endoderm, and white is pseudocelom. Osmoregulatory functions. Most scalmentates have no osmoregulatory systems, and some have proteinuria. They are best developed in freshwater farms where osmotic problems are great. So in marine, no need of proteinuria. They will be isoosmotic. Here you can see the proteinuria. that includes stem cells nucleus or excretory pores extra fluid extra cellular fluids enter the space enclosed by the stem cell driven down the tubules toward the excretory pore by the beating of the cilia in the stem cells here you can see the arrow so arrow will show the direction of excretory waste product movement through excretory pore the waste will pour outside the body gaseous exchange no separate blood or gas exchange system are present they use simply diffusion now specialization that is formation of head some specialization is evident anterior and containing a primitive brain sensory organs and a mouth like structure or mouth here you can see that is anterior and posterior end so there is the pharynx and mouth area then there is nerve ganglion it means there is primitive brain lead to ventral nerve dorsal nerve throughout the body now come to reproduction the vast majority of scalmentates are dioecious male and female separate both reproductive systems are relatively uncomplicated life cycle usually simple but in parasite it will be complex male and female here you can see the male having the sperm duct having the capillary spicule that will transfer the sperm to the female then pharynx nerve ring excretory system just like the female having the intestine in case of female pharynx nerve ring excretory system intestine same like the male then ovary uterus and vulva 
and anus is there intestine just like the male external surface cilia are generally absent from external surface that is thin tough and external cuticle is present the cuticle may be a spine scales or other form of ornamentations that protect the animal and useful for taxonomists to classify the organisms here you can see the diagram where scales or spines or some ornamentation are present in the scalmentis body and here is the link from where i got the picture ectomorphism that is shedding of cuticle some scalmentis shed their cuticle by the molting or ectomorphism process when they grow they shed the cuticle body structure beneath the cuticle is a sensorial epidermis that actively secretes the cuticle several longitudinal muscles layer lie beneath the epidermis mode of life most scalmentis are freshwater animals and few live in marine environment some are parasitic some are or mostly free living some are colonial now the phylum nematoda nematodes are roundworms are some of the most abundant animals on the earth some 5 billion may be in every acre of 40046 square meters of fertile garden soil so if you have more nematodes in your soil your soil will be more fertile here you can see a nematode having the head like structure having the anus or tail like structure zoologists estimate that the number of roundworm species ranges from 16000 to 5 lakhs they feed on every conceivable source of organic matter from rotting substances to living tissues of invertebrates vertebrates plants their size range from microscopic to several meter long ecological niche many nematodes are parasites of plants and animals they may be free living in marine and fresh water live in the soil habitats they play an important role in cycling nutrients in soil or bottom sediments arthropods are compared with ascalmentes or nematodes as except their sensory structures both like cilia characteristics they share with arthropods and common with some arthropods the swarm of nematodes are amoeboids thanks